Roy, having you here and having the master, the father um, of, of parts therapy here, um, I think it would probably be nice to hear it from you exactly. What, where is parts therapy, the original parts therapy that you teach, how is that different from the variations that NLP embraces, for example? I'm glad you asked that question. I learned parts therapy from the late Charles Tebbets, who pioneered it during the 1960s and 1970s, contemporary with the time when uh, John and Helen Watkins were pioneering ego state therapy, which is a very similar technique. While Watkins and Watkins pioneered it for the mental health field, Charles Tebbets pioneered it for the hypnotherapy side. And it's based on the concept that we all have different aspects of the subconscious. Uh, for example, my clients see my hypnotherapy cap. When I go home, my inner child wants to have some fun after a hard work week. And, for example, if a person isn't buying into the positive suggestions to reduce or to quit smoking, there's a part of that person that wants to keep on smoking, and there's a part that wants a person to quit and has motivated the client to invest his or her time and money yeah. in hypnotherapy sessions. So parts therapy is like mediation, only you're mediating between the two conflicting aspects of the subconscious instead of mediating between two different people who have a conflict. So uh, hence the subtitle for the parts therapy text that you have Hypnosis for Inner Conflict Resolution. Yeah. I must say, <clears throat> prior to, to attending your course in America, I think I, I was in this thinking that I know parts therapy. I've been trained in parts therapy. We do this very humble, very insufficient, now that I understand what it's all about, six-step reframing, for example. But the, the, the in-depth procedure, which actually isn't that complicated, once you know it and once you, once you, you, you understand how to apply it and how client-centered it is. But I just my message would be for the people out there that you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> if you don't yeah. think that, that what we thought could be understood as part therapy is actually in any way to be compared with what you teach. The 11-step process, which is the actual parts therapy process itself, has been something that I've evolved from what I learned from Charles Tebbets over a process slightly less than three decades. So it's passed the test of time. Yes. And the pitfalls mm. that I warn people about uh, are based on lessons I learned from the combination of my experience and the experience of others who've fallen into similar pitfalls. So uh, it's basically a discipline that... Uh, has not only passed the test of time, but has been validated by client successes and also um, knowledge of, let's just say, failures or learning experiences that have either come to me through the experience of others, or in some cases myself. Because as I tell my students, I'll share both my successes and my learning experiences with you so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Yeah. Uh, now, part therapy is not the only game in town. There's more than one way to get from New York to London. But uh, although the destination is more important than the journey you take, parts therapy is very definitely a good journey that uh, is built on proven techniques. Ego state therapy, however, is like a twin of parts therapy. It's very effective. And my current protege for ego state therapy is Gordon Emerson. And Dr. Emerson is a very phenomenal individual. He wrote Ego State Therapy, which I highly recommend yes. to uh, yeah. fellow professionals. 